So we're keeping track of this fire situation, keep you posted as we get more information. But I guess the important thing right now for you to know uh, and to mind for your kids is the wind. Yeah, but tonight and then tomorrow morning, it's going to be the cold, possibly even freezing temperatures, as Kristen just mentioned, which can devastate those of you who just got your gardens going. We sent News 13's David Romero to find out if the chill will kill. Hey, David. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Well, you know, these uh, hot and cold extreme temperatures that we've been having, you know, especially the cold, that's going to be a surefire way to kill off that vegetation if you don't take the proper steps to take care of it ahead of time. Now, for things growing in the garden like vegetables and fruits, this is especially destructive. Now, most plants can endure what's considered a light freeze. Now, that means that the vegetation is exposed to temperatures around 4 28 for only a couple of hours, and ice will usually be on the outside of the plant. Now, if the vegetation is exposed to those temperatures for longer, ice can form on the inside of the plant and cause damage to the roots. This is considered a hard freeze. New Mexico is in the part of the country where the last bad freeze is expected around May 1st, and you have until about May 7th of this um, of this month to get your garden planting completely in. Now, this may that may still be unwelcome news for some who have already spent a lot of cash on their garden crops, and the best way to protect them right now is to wrap them in burlap or cover them with a bucket or barrel. But before you do that, there's one major thing you need to take care of. The absolute key is watering your plants before you cover them. The worst thing you could do is cover something that's dry. Um, you can actually smother it and it can actually die on you. Now, after we get out of this cold freeze and we get back into the warm temperatures, you want to get something like uh, that little bottle of miracle Girl that you probably saw in the video there. That's a good thing that they say to put on the plants because right now in this kind of cold weather, they're getting stressed out and putting that back on there gets them back into the, the mode of growing and kind of helps them de-stress a little bit. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you, David. This late freeze is not just a problem for our gardens, but even more so for Chile, which is already struggling with the drought. 634, we go back to Kristen and Elizabeth.